Hello, this is John. In this short video, I'm going to walk you through an activity we do with our customers to make more sense of how they work. First off, instead of drawing fancy pictures, we always start with a narrative. How do people actually talk about outcomes, their work? So in this case right here, this is a sample narrative. Last quarter, we focused heavily on improving the onboarding experience, especially with the rollout of the new AI-powered insights while working through the Q3 growth efforts, et cetera. One of the key ideas that emerged throughout the process, we kept hearing things. We're targeting a reduction in churn. You get the idea. From there, we find the things. So what things did they talk about? So in this case, there's lots of things that they talked about. Last quarter, improving the onboarding experience, rollout, AI-powered insights, Q3 growth efforts, customers in the mid-size B2B SaaS space, they want to see value quickly, early stage startups, enterprise clients in healthcare. We identified the things. Remember, we start with the narrative. From there, we figure out how the things are related. So for example, last quarter, we focused heavily on improving the onboarding experience with the rollout of the AI-powered insights, which supported the use of self-service options. They wanted to see value quickly which was realized through reducing the time it takes to resolve tickets and using self-service options. So we convert that narrative into some visualization of how these ideas are related. The next thing that we do is we classify those things. So it turns out that these things can be classified as time periods, cycle themes, initiatives, product capabilities, release launches, customer segments, insights, goals, targets, and principles. We go back and we just color code them last quarter, we focus heavily on improving the onboarding experience, but this time we've color coded them. Finally, we take that and then we Think about how those concepts are related. This is called an ontology. So for example, time period frames, targets, cycle themes or strategic groupings are scoped to time periods, cycles, group goals, goals respond to and inform, guide insights, initiatives, inform insights, etc. So this is a fast way that we go from a narrative into something that we can convert into our tool that people can use. The important part here is instead of starting with this, everyone starts with these drawings and they think, Okay, theoretically, this is how we think that we work. And instead of doing that, we just start with what's the narrative we want to enable. And this is, this is the narrative we want to enable. Every product manager in a company should be able to uh, go through this uh, example narrative. This, this could actually be improved as a narrative, but you get the idea. But we start with the narrative first, and the tools that you have should support that narrative. So once we've you know, related it to this, we've tested it against real-world narratives. In an ideal world, you take a couple narratives and you keep doing this. Uh, to pressure test your system. So that's how we go about doing it. So you end up with a tool that kind of talks like you talk.